Hey guys, it's time to take an assessment. So if you have your composition book, that's the one with the wind, you are going to turn to page 84. It says unit assessment five at the top, page 84. Okay, once you have, if you need to pause, your kiddos can do that. Go ahead and get that, do that. If you don't have a book, you can just use a piece of paper. Okay, so if you have a book, the first thing you're going to do is we are going to do the five sounds. When we do the sounds, you're going, I'm going to say them, you're going to repeat them, you're going to write them and mark them. So make sure it says unit five if you're in your book. Put your name on it. Okay, first sound is what sound? Everybody say right all the ways you know to write. Give a thumbs up when you're ready. Don't show the answers though. Okay. The next sound is kss. everybody say kss. go ahead and write it. Down here, sound three is am. Everybody say am. Write it and give a thumbs up. Sound four is eh. Everybody say eh. Give a thumbs up when you're done writing it. The last sound is an. Everybody say an. Go back and look at the sounds. I'll repeat them one time each. You need to mark them. So for number one, you wrote all the ways you know to write k. Number two was k. Number three should say am. Number four should say eh. And number five should say an. Make sure you've marked them. Okay. So now we're going to go to the words. We're going to write five words. We're going to say the word. We're going to tap it. Then you're going to say the letter names and write it. So word number one. Make sure in the words section, word number one is quick. Everybody say quick. Let's tap it. Qu. I. K. Say the letter names and write it and then mark it and give a thumbs up. Number two is the word man. Everybody say man. Let's tap it. Mm, and say the letter names, write it and mark it and give your teacher a thumbs up. Number three is the word fan. Everybody say fan. Let's tap it and write it and mark it and then give your teacher a thumbs up. Number four is the word shell. Everybody say shell. Let's tap it. Sh say the letter names, write it, mark it, and then give your teacher a thumbs up when you're ready. Number five, the last word is ham. Everybody say ham. Now let's tap it. Am. Say the letter names and write it and then mark it. Give your teacher a thumbs up when you're ready. Okay, before we go on, I'm going to read all the words one more time. I want you to look at your word and make sure you've written the right word and that you've underlined it. Number one was the word quick. Number two is the word man. Number three is the word fan. Number four is the word 
shell. And number five was the word ham. Okay, so here's the first sentence. Oh, nope. Okay, move that. Whoa, don't even know how I made that bigger, but I want to make it smaller. Okay, so here is where you're writing the sentence. Sentence number one is going to go right here. Okay, they ran from the back of the mall. They ran from the back of the mall. You need to make sure to write on two lines, okay? Don't squish everything on one. They ran from the back of the mall. They ran from the back of the mall. Say that with me. They ran from the back of the mall. Once you're done writing that, Look at every word and see what you need to mark. Scoop the sentences the best you can. And then give your teacher a thumbs up. This is how you can scoop it. It doesn't have to be this way. They ran from the back of the mall. Okay. So write that, mark it, and give your teacher a thumbs up. Okay. Now we're going on to the second sentence. Same page, there's a number two. You have two more lines. Again, I don't want you squishing it all in one line. I want you to use both lines. So here's what we're gonna do. Does she have the pan for Rick? Does she have the pan for Rick? Say that with me. Does she have the pan for Rick? Does she have the pan for Rick. I want you to go ahead and write it. Then I want you to go back and look at every word and see what you need to mark. And then don't forget to scoop it. When you're done, give your teacher a thumbs up. Great job today.